Remember that form they filled out earlier? Included was a space to fill in their cell phone number. So now we can call and text them. See, I told you we were bad. It's very hard for me to sit still. So will these people give in to temptation now that their phones are literally calling out to them? The answer? A resounding yes. As soon as their phone started ringing, beeping, and buzzing, a whopping 80% of our volunteers couldn't resist the call, leaving just two people who were able to remain in their seats. Hello? In fact, once the floodgates opened, some of these rule breakers not only took our calls, I don't know who it is. They started making their own. Hello? <laughs> What's up? Okay, cool. But why would they be willing to forfeit their payment just to look at their phone? I had to go and check it at some point. It was kind of a compulsion. As soon as I gave it up, I wanted it back in my pocket because I have to be in constant contact. Sitting there, having nothing else to do, that's when I want to check it. If I was doing something important, I would be fine. I think. What's that? <laughs> was that my phone? <laughs> So clearly it's difficult for our brains to resist the call of our devices, and with good reason. Psychologist Martin Lindstrom has surveyed the most addictive sounds in the world. Meaning, sounds our brains crave because of the possible reward behind them. And not surprisingly, sounds associated with cell phones are second only to those of a giggling baby. <laughs> and you're probably saying, so what? Isn't my phone designed to get my attention? True. But how many times a day do you find yourself checking your phone no matter where you are or what you're doing? Since this episode began, how many times have you looked at your phone? Be honest. Three times? Five? Maybe more? So what's behind this burning desire to constantly look at our smartphones? It turns out our brains have been trained over time to have an almost Pavlovian response to our phones as our brains seek out dopamine rewards wherever they can find them. These days, if you check your smartphone, your brain gets rewarded each time for learning something new, whether it's hearing from your friends or checking the weather. And according to some research, your dopamine levels don't actually peak when you win a bet, get good news, or eat that sinful treat, but rather they spike in the moment just before the payoff which may be why we reach for our phones so often. Each time, as we anticipate how many messages or social media likes we may get, our brain's pleasure sensor lights up. In other words, the pursuit of happiness isn't really about happiness. It's about the pursuit. And if you're worried about our participants forfeiting their money, don't be. We paid them all anyway. Yay! <laughs> so now that you've learned how to better manage your addicted brain, See if you can resist one final temptation with illusionist Max Darwin. If you're like most people, you can't start your day without a morning cup of coffee. Would you say that's true? Definitely. And of course, it's not the coffee that we're addicted to, it's the caffeine. Number one addiction in America. Really? Oh, yeah. The best way to kick the habit is if it's not available to you in the first place. Hey, that's my... Whoa, how did he do that? What the... Out of sight, out of mind. And how's she going to get her morning fix? Yeah, I should buy you a cup of coffee. Can I buy her a cup of coffee? Sorry about that.